everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. It is Friday, February 28th, 2025. You might have a chance of seeing northern lights tonight. Um, they were also evidently visible uh, late last night. Um, here is the Aurora Prediction Center for the United States. And you can see up there along the edge of Washington, Montana, North Dakota, um, Minnesota, uh, yeah, maybe parts of Michigan, definitely Alaska and Canada, you're going to have northern lights. Here we have the KP index, yeah, showing you the impact of those solar storms currently hitting, yeah, the planet, and it looks like it goes all the way up and going to increase maybe tomorrow, um, all the way up on March 1st. And as you know, it causes adverse weather. Here where I'm at, yeah, we got some gusty winds. Some of the gusts evidently are up to 50 miles an hour here in South Dakota. Here's one image of the sun currently. You can see this coronal hole. Yeah, it's massive. Sending all that streams of particles, yeah, directly towards the earth. They're also reporting that north of England, Scotland, Northern Ireland, Ireland excuse me, um, we'll probably have the lights. You'll see uh, different hues of greens and maybe purple. Although the peak of the solar cycle 25 is forecast to occur in July of this year, the exact timing of the peak is still uncertain. Solar cycle 25 is a current, current solar cycle. Boy, I'm all tongue-tied today. Which began on December 2019. It is expected to last until about 2030 and during this cycle the sun's activity has been increasing and is expected to peak again July of this year. Here's the current uh, alerts watches and warnings it says potential impacts area of impact primarily pole word of 60 degrees geomagnetic latitude weak power grid fluctuations can occur Minor impacts on satellites operations possible and auroras may be visible at high alto latitudes uh, northern tier of the U.S. such as northern Michigan and Maine. You guys might luck out tonight. Here we have another image for the planetary K index. Yeah, it was almost as high as 6, but currently, oh... Almost five, it looks like. And that's over there. They're also saying that it'll be a KP index or a K index of five is expected, which means it is considered good for viewing the northern lights as it indicates a minor geomagnetic storm, meaning there's a good chance of seeing auroras at mid latitudes and potentially bright active displays further from the poles. If you do a search on X, formerly known as Twitter, yeah, you might see some images here. This one is from Lapland. And there's another video. It's from uh, Norway, I believe. And this one says it's from Iceland. And I'll give you a link to this article. It says you have a chance to see the northern lights in Wisconsin um, tonight, Friday. Some places are going to be really cold, but hopefully you'll have an area that might be a little bit warmer. Um, you can get out and watch these northern lights. Yeah, pretty cool. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.